Well, we're here. Man, you got a big ass, that is a big ass antenna you got over there, mister. Uh, 10 foot, man, 10 foot, two elements. Starter kit antenna, right? Yeah, that's starter kit, man. Get what? some air time. Well, I think I brought something over here you might be interested in. Can you believe it's been almost a decade since I was lucky enough to be involved in the last one of these? As in like the last one ever made? Well, I'm waiting to see what these is first before I... <laughs> Well, think about it. Before I uh, before I sign off. What was the first major project we ever did together? It was that last, the last one ever, right? Yeah, yeah, with the with the fancy cabinet that I should have kept. <laughs> you know, in Pulp Fiction, where they open the suitcase and bright light shoots. Yeah, the yeah, the, the 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 gold, whatever that was. You ready for this? Open it. Wait, what is it? What is it? Is that what I think it is? Mm-hmm. It's beautiful. God damn it, what is it? <laughs> Man. I don't know. I don't know. So, uh, this is the rarest set of amplifiers that money can buy anywhere <laughs> on earth right now. Well, kings of the court. Say we drag these over in the shop, what do you think? Let's pop the lids off. I want you to see what's going on on the inside oh, of that, that 32. <laughs> I want you to see what's going on on the inside of the 8. I don't even need to see these things, man. I don't know what this is. Let's go over that. Let's go run let's over in the shop and let's set it in the shop and let's talk for a bit. You sit there and you go, wow, that was a bitch to shoot. Because then you think, well, that was like 12 different cuts for that three seconds of frame. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I've watched some of those, like, even instructional videos. Guys, chop, 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 and their head has to be in the same spot and all that shit. If you want to carry it, I'll open the door for you. Oh, man, Look I cooler, to... or do you want me to carry it? Either way, it don't matter. Oh, cool. If you're quick, man, I can't believe I used to do these fucking things. I used to take these things at fucking FedEx. Shit, they're heavier now than they used to be. My ass is old. I don't know if they're heavier now than they used to be, but we don't work. <laughs> we don't work out as much as we used to. Yeah, right? Well, you true. do. You're losing all that damn weight. Shit, I use tools now. Ah, forward or back? Yeah, I'm gonna, my work's cut out. I'm going to have to do some pim nuts, but I'm not going to reuse this case. Yeah, I wouldn't either. Oh, the screw's not going to... I've got... So it's already off. I've already got another case. You want to unplug it? Why would somebody put a switch on the fans? <laughs> Just in case you wanted to quietly blow your box up. That'll work. Oh, man. This is a ghetto hood rat tactic right here. I'm here to tell you. Look, look at this. <laughs> I put the screen on the inside. <laughs> yeah, why? Because the RF at the relay was screwing up the fan, I bet you anything. Yeah. Well, you might want to pick if a If you mesh. notice, it's been replaced a couple times. Wait a minute. Yeah, you might have wanted to pick a mesh that wasn't metallic. What a dumbass. <laughs> okay. Because that shit is not going to do anything. It's going to run right through it. Wow, old school combiners. I remember they told me that wouldn't work. I'm like, hmm. Never burn up, too. It's There's like a couple different things in here I got to change out. Like, I wanted you to see this. What the hell is that all about? I don't know. That's a good question. And they're only in that spot? What are they yeah, doing? So, no, think about how that actually affects the amp. Well, let me change the camera here just a little bit. Everybody else can oh, enjoy what the hell to be, we're looking that's at. Supposed to be, <laughs> that's supposed to be a filter? That's supposed to be a filter. Yeah, so. A DC filter cap. Okay. There's a couple things I got to change up here, like. Let's talk about how the airflow works in here so everybody understands exactly what they're doing with having this capacitor bank up here. Yeah, yeah, you're choking off, you're choking off airflow. Um, so the air comes in from the cabinet this direction. Yeah. Blown down, goes this direction. Hits this wall, makes a 90 degree turn, and makes another 90 degree turn. It runs right out the back. And it's got to run all the way out the back. So what happens if you take a cap... Oh, that wasn't even soldered down, bro. Did you see that shit? I just pulled that off. Oh, wow. There you go, man. That's so what, what happens if you take a cap bank 
and block off two thirds of your air passage through your heat sink. How much air do you think is really getting through all this? <laughs> exactly. Goods? To me, you don't want to block this at all. I mean, I mean, I, the reason I built them like this, honestly, was because this is the only heat sink I can get. Nine and seven eighths. And really? I still, I still got some left. That's the only reason I built them like this. I was always wondering why they, they were built in this particular configuration instead of cutting the slabs with short runs with like yeah, I stack a m bunch of eight pill boards together. In the retrospect, I, I, I think I would have done it this way. I would have done them sideways because then you get more air through them. But we'll kill, God rest his soul. P, I want them motherfucker big. Make them big motherfuckers. <laughs> That's what Will Kill said. What Will Kill said is what I did. So I bought a bunch of that stuff, still got some left. I even got the big wide one I did for 64 pills. And uh, I still got one of those, piece of that left. So yeah. So they were bas basically built to just auto a fan here, fan here, fan here, fan here. That being said, the problem was the back end of the amp would run hotter than the front end of that. Because by the time this air reached the back, all the hot air was right under this bank. So if you pop transistors, it was always in the air. It's usually in this area. So, you know, it was it was a piece of shit back then, you know, but it ran. It ran. You they take this thing right here, man, and put 20 volts on this bitch. And I've seen Will Kill do about 8,500 watts on this thing. That's back when transistors were eight bucks a piece and we were complaining. But tell us about did. the development of this, because I know there was a little bit of stuff that went on with this, the stuff breaking down and getting hot and you have a yeah, I went to the, the iron powder. I, I, used to, I used to use 61 for a while. I went to 67 for a little while. 43 is suicide. Um, I did that, and that thing got so hot it exploded. But this is back when I didn't know shit about this. I was just doing this off the top. So I, I went to these iron cores, and I, the yellow ones and the red ones both worked perfect, and I never came off of them. Yeah, well, what um, about the yellow and red? Have you seen those? I haven't seen that one. <laughs> yeah, the outside of it's red and then the sides of it are yellow. Oh, really? Or vice versa, it's red and then yellow. That sounds yeah. like uh, Bobo the Clown or some shit. But now, anyway. My memory serves me. The one that was in the last 32 you built um, was bigger than this. Yeah. I, had some, I still got some of those. Dude, I got some of these men like this. Yeah. You know? And I realized in retrospect, um, well, I didn't realize in retrospect. I realized when I was doing it, to try to do a Wilkinson on this heat sink is impossible. Right? It's possible. But you're going to have a lot of stray inductance because you're running, you know, some 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 combiners here, some over here, some over there. You can't. There's no center point. If I were to do Wilkinson, I would have to turn these to where you'd have two facing this way and another two facing this way. Then I could probably get away with it. But I couldn't get away with it on this heap sink. So I just went. I just cascaded all the way through and I could still get, you know, eight thousand. Well, everybody did that in those days. You could get about eight grand out of these things running them stupid. Do not run like that. Do not. When BBI tells you don't go, don't go to 20 volts, he knows what the fuck he's talking about because back then these things were $8 a piece and we thought we were rich when we bought 100 of them. So don't do it now. But that's what we did. That's what this was. This was a souped up shootout box. Let's go down here and let's talk about the back end of the amp here. I wanted to cover this real, real well with you because this is bad. This is not the way this came out at all. <laughs> This isn't the way this left, but I've got to turn it back the way it was when it was produced. And, it's the and you're going to have a much better cabinet because these are... Yeah, well... I didn't have a CNC machine and I was, I was using this. I did have this. Well, I think it's kind of ironic. That's why I wanted to set yeah. it here on the brake is because this is where the cabinet was made. Yeah, it, was it was on, made on this, this. brake. Yeah. Now here we are 30 years late. 20 years? 30 years. No, yeah, this, this, is, this is over 30 years. Really? Oh, yeah. These, I stopped making these. This, I sold the last Skullcracker in 2000. Well, yeah, about 30 years, but this is not one of the last ones. So this is an old one. I can tell because the cabinets are a lot more flimsy and um, yeah, this is, this, is, this is some hood rat shit here, man. How many of these do you think, well, I know you know how many, but roughly just an idea, how many of these do you think were made? Um, just me and my brother, we probably made. Well, let me just jump in here for a second. Um, I'm gonna cut the video here. Now let me explain to you why. This isn't a teaser video, but it's a teaser video. This is still an ongoing process with this particular project. I was lucky enough because of my Patreon supporters that I was able to go and do this, what I just showed you in the last 10 minutes. Um, I can leave here and I can run out and go, if I have the opportunity, I can run out and I can go do one of these really cool kick-ass projects like what we're currently working on. The, the rebuild of these boxes, basically. And the returning of them back to factory spec. Like, actual, as they rolled out the door, signed off and approved by the, the guy that make them 
spec. If it wasn't for the flexibility that you guys on Patreon and you guys on YouTube allow me to have, this project would never even be able to be done. But it's ongoing. Now, I thought in my head that I would just go over there and we'd shoot a couple scenes, taking it out of the train, we'd take it over, he'd sign it, and that'd be it. What it actually ended up turning into was um, almost two full hours of him talking about all the history and the stuff that goes along with just particularly the things that he was involved in, for the most part, give or take. That's going to be in a completely separate video. But for the most part, you kind of got a taste of what we're working on. Most of this little clip is going to be used in the final, final end run of the video. But needless to say, this is where we got to end it for today. But believe me when I tell you, more is coming, more is coming, more is coming. We'll see you here shortly. This might take about a, uh, another couple weeks for me to work my way through it. But you'll see. This is going to be one of the coolest videos of the year. Click, click.